Alrighty guys, so today we have one of the top selling dog foods for the last 15 years in the United States, right here. And that food is called Old Roy. So let's go ahead and put that up there against one of the top selling natural, high protein infused, grain free formulas, and that would be Blue Buffalo Wilderness Salmon, right up there. There you go, that's today's mashup. And it's gonna be a pretty interesting one. So I think you're gonna enjoy it. So hold tight, let's get started. I'll see you guys later. Alrighty guys, if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you get the notifications of our next video. Also, you can always hit me up on Instagram at Adam, your dog trainer, and you can follow me there. And actually you'll see a lot of my students pictures on my Instagram page. So please go ahead, check that out if you get a moment. I'll see you guys later. Alrighty guys, so as you know, we always dive into the ingredients. And so let's go ahead, dive into the ingredients of both of these bags and see what we're really looking at when it comes to the listings of what the quality of this food is and kind of gives us a better understanding of what we're really giving our dogs. So let's go ahead and start with the first one, which will be Old Roy Small Breed Adult Formula. That food is uh, ground corn, meat and bone meal, soybean meal, wheat meal run, animal fat preserved with BHA and BHT, ground wheat, natural flavoring, corn gluten, uh, corn gluten meal, sorry, uh, corn oil, flaxseed, fish oil, minerals, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. And then if I go down here a little bit further, there is some artificial coloring that is added to this food also. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> probably not the best food on the market. So uh, nutrition wise, uh, eh, we don't like corn, wheat, soy, byproducts, or artificial coloring. We already talked about that. And you guys can go back, take a look at how many of those are in this formula. Let's go ahead and dive into the Wilderness Blue Buffalo and see what that one is. Let me go ahead and pop that up on the screen for you there. And this one is deboned salmon, chicken meal, uh, Manhattan fish meal, Manhattan, really? Uh, peas, chicken fat, and yeah, natural flavoring, blah, blah, blah. The, but it's really hard to read this because the lines are making this challenging. There's carrots, there's peas, there's blueberries, there's cranberries, there's barley grass, there's dried kelp. There's all sorts of different vitamins and minerals in this that come across as more of a natural formula. So yeah, you guys can read that one on your own. Um, yeah, it's hard to really focus on that. So let's go ahead, dive into the mashup, and then we'll talk a little more in depth on the other side. Alrighty guys, here we go for another mashup. Today's mashup, we have one of the most budget conscious formulas, which would be Old Roy Small Breed Salmon or Fish Formula. You can find this at your everyday Walmart. And we're gonna go with Wilderness Salmon made by Blue Buffalo. Alrighty, we're going to add our two cups of water. As always in the trusted Eagles glass. One fourth of a cup of lime juice. Per request, lime juice is to help break down the food a little bit more. There we go. See you guys in three hours. Deuces. So as we dove into the dog foods today, 
um, I did a little bit of research and I found this website that I get a lot of my information from. I'll go ahead and I will post this picture up on the screen here. And this is involving, this is from Dog Food Insider and it's the recall history of Old Roy. Now, basically, it pans down and talks about how there's been a lot of recalls and how Mars is the actual owner of Old Roy. They're the ones that, that make it for Walmart. It is the, the Walmart private brand. And, you know, down in the bottom, in addition, it says, in addition, Old Roy pet foods made by Walmart, Mars, and Del Monte, snacks, jerks, and treats under the Old Roy label, and Sunshine Company has made the Old Roy biscuits. These companies have had several recalls over the past several years. So that just kind of gives me a little bit of insight on the food quality. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of foods that get recalls for other things. Uh, it just so happens that Old Roy has had the most recalls since 2005 um, of any dog food in the United States. Uh, so that, that's kind of concerning. Alrighty, let's go ahead, dive into the analysts, and take a look at what we got. Alright, so I will start with the Blue Buffalo. This is the Blue Buffalo Wilderness. Um, it looks really good, kind of ambery color like we always want to see. We do see those bubbles again on top of the blue, don't know why we're seeing that. But, you know, it looks pretty good. You can actually see your finger through the back there, which is just, that's nice, fantastic. And it didn't really expand too much. It just kind of broke down. So this, is this I kind of like that. That's, that's not too bad. The bubbles, eh, eh, something to leave for, but that's okay. A little different than what we saw here. Now, this one literally just expanded. I can totally see my fingers through the back here. It is crystal clear as day. Um, it's like literally the color of the water really hasn't changed at all. Um, there's no food buildup on the bottom. Um, this part is really scary because you should see some color breakdown. Like you can tell the difference between the two there. Um, this literally just expanded. And if you look at the top, I'll take a top view for you. I'll put that right up there. You can see that that food literally just expanded. It didn't even break down. So I don't know why Old Roy is such a popular formula and it's really scary to know that that is a very popular brand out there on the market. Um, it is budget conscious, but you know what? There's foods that are way better that aren't that much more expensive. You know, um, obviously the Blue Buffalo is on the higher end of premium foods and we're comparing this to one of the lower end foods when it comes to budgets. So this is a huge difference for what you get, what you pay for. Um, yeah, not, not very pleased with the uh, Old Roy as always. Uh, most of you guys know I don't like buying dog foods at grocery stores and this is probably one of those reasons why. Alrighty guys, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you next time. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Everybody have a good week. Deuces. I don't think it's good that he's eating that water. What do you think? Good job, Murphy.